Hi all, uh, my name is Kenti Sato, um, first year PhD student at the University of Tokyo, Japan. Um, I'll talk about my project by Julia towards bioinformatics in the real world. And bio proje bio Julia project is a collaborative and open source project creating infrastructure for bioinformatics. And our repository is maintained by, by Julia Org is hosted on GitHub and we really welcome and uh, contributions and enhancement with various backgrounds. And BioJury already has several things like uh, data structures for biological sequences and cameras and genomic <coughs> intervals and algorithms for se uh, sequence alignment and interval overlapping queries and parses for, for example, fast A and fast Q, bad and big bad and PDB and wrappers for BRAST tools. And my project, my, my project aims to make BioJulia a practical choice to use in your next uh, research project and of course um, in my daily research. Here, um, practical means and it, BioJulia should be first and easy to use and like R, uh, Python and full fledged functionality. So my project is actually separated into two parts and the first half is an on sequence analysis, sequence analysis, and the second half is on integrating with existing tools for bioinformatics here. And the project term is for three months for each half. Uh, but I won't mention the second half because uh, it, the second project is not yet started. An online sequence search is an searching a query and with that creating index for the target sequence. And it comes with three flavors, uh, exact search and approximate search, which allows several mismatches over deletions and insertions up to specified number of, er specified number of errors. And regular expressions, to, you can describe a pattern in the regular expression. And the reference genomes is a data structure that saves more than 30% of memory space by holding uh, ambiguous nucleotides in this separated sparse bit vector. And it, of course, supports random access and iterations like other usual biological sequences, but and the performance overhead is very small. And, and BAM and CRAM parser. And BAM and CRAM are file formats for storing and uh, aligned DNA sequences, which will be generated from a sequencing machine like this, and it is mapped to the reference genome. And the size of a BAM file is often very large, and it can be 100 gigabytes, and the first person is really needed in practice. And the BAM file is in binary file format, so passing is very first, but it is compressed, so you, we need to uh, decompress the data using GRIP and in creating GRIP files is a bottleneck of routing data actually. And so how can they make it faster? Well, the parallelizing is an one solution. And each GZIP block and BAM file is a concatenated a file, uh, concatenated GZIP files, so you can parallelize the compression using GRIP library using uh, multiple threading like this, and red one and blue one decompress JZ uh, flux in parallel, and you can improve the performance of it. And multiple threading is very easy in Julia, just adding this at thread macro at the head of a for loop, and you call it red in the loop. And benchmark, I'll show you benchmark here. Uh, I, this is in decompressing one gigabyte of data and I'll show you benchmark here quickly. And this is a single threaded version. It will end soon, and, but it will require about uh, 6.4 seconds. And this laptop has two physical cores, so we can try two threading. Oops. And the performance gain will be uh, very dramatic, and it almost cuts half of the elapsed time. So polarizing can uh, make it faster to 
decompress later. Yes, about two times for speed up with, uh, with two threads. And so special th thanks for supporting my project with well, Moore Foundation and Julia Computing Inc. and for, for working on the BioJulia project and members. Thank you, that's all.